Hello and welcome to your June 17th, 2023 new moon reading. Well, normally I don't do new moon readings, but this one is rather special, if that makes sense, because it's the last new moon in spring and we're heading into summer on the 21st. So the timeline is amazing, if that makes sense. And the... um. New Moon sits in the sign of Gemini, which is depicted by the Roman numeral for 2. And it is indeed about setting intentions for things to come together. So, really, really powerful. What happens on the New Moon, because the New Moon is very close, sometimes next to the Sun, or about 45 degrees ahead, which means we're less reluctant to change. And, even though the Sun and the Moon do not share space well, in the New Moon, because there is um, no illumination whatsoever due to the angle of the New Moon or, or the Moon to the Sun, when there is no light, there is no distraction. So it is a really, really great time to set intentions. And um, this is what we, what we do here. So what I wanted you to do now is to take a deep breath from the solar plexus to the throat, like this. And then exhale with a F sound, because when you do F, you use the air in the abdomen rather than the air in the lungs. So you go. And if you need to do it one more time, do it one more time. Now I want you to take a moment and set your intentions. The intentions, again, energetically speaking, it's about things coming together. So one of the intentions you could set is along the lines of saying, whatever or all that is for me will come to me. You know, things like this. Um, so you you have a much better chance of manifesting but um, it doesn't make sense to manifest something that is sort of far away. So um, as nice as this is to manifest a holiday in October, <laughs> it's just not the energy that flows like it. So it makes much more sense to, um, to make sort of short-term um, manifestations, if that makes sense, because the new moon is slowly now getting full. And it is important because we always understand time as linear, which it isn't, but we see time in, in forwards and backwards motions, if that makes sense. And so, um, and because the new moon is a new beginning, so it is, so to, so to speak, the beginning of time. So when people started observing the, um, the moon phases, the first phase, so to speak, would be the new moon. So it's about beginnings. It's about this is where it starts. This is where we can reset um, our intentions and set our intentions. Really, really important. Um, so it sits in Gemini. The new moon sits in Gemini. So Gemini is an air sign. So what I'm going to do here while you just... Um, uh, my advice to you is, is to write down a few things that you want to happen. If you need to pause the video, by all means, pause the video. But you know, you write down a few things that you really want to manifest, right? I'm manifesting a new relationship. I'm manifesting a change in my relationship. You know, I'm manifesting abundance, right? And so because we're doing it in a new moon, the timeline is now. So you're manifesting it for now. Really, really important. So I want you to just make a little list of what you do. And um, then all you need to do is to basically sit with it, um, you know, and have a deep breath. And I will just hire the energy of, of the element of air, which is uh, Gemini is an air sign. So uh, by, by using the vibration of air.
So, new moon is on the 17th, the summer solstice, the beginning of summer is on the 21st. There is a full moon, sorry, um, a, a summer solstice video on this channel. Please, please, please watch it. Really, really important because it's a powerful energy. Um, and so what we do now is we're looking at, um, at the cusp. So we're looking at moving from spring or the, or the end of spring to the beginning of summer. And again, I'm using um, vibrational sounds uh, to do this. So I have the sapphire chimes, chimes for spring and summer here. So I'm using the spring one. And you just keep manifesting. Then I'm adding summer. And now very gently we're letting spring go. So we're letting spring go and we're setting our intentions as we're moving into the energy of summer. I'm not sure if you can hear this, but summer has a much more immediate sound because it is a time where as we go into uh, really working with the strong energy of the sun, as it were, um, it is a bit of a kick-ass time that, that uh, again, suits us all very well, right? But like I said, a lot of people don't even look at the new moon that much and uh, and by default on this channel we always ever talk about the full moon which is not wrong if that makes sense but having the last new moon in spring moving towards the summer solstice which is also the beginning of summer using that element so the new moon is on the 17th and then the solstice is on the it's on the 21st so in that time frame, right, between the 17th and the 21st, while we're going to, to, to actually stronger energy anyway, um, the manifestation, the setting, the intention settings that you do now also grows with the light, right? So whatever you manifest today and whatever intention you set today can only be a good thing for... Um, the so-called near future, if that makes sense, right? So intention setting on a new moon um, and, you know, manifesting the beginnings has always been powerful. It is way more powerful this month, hence the new moon reading, because it happens to be going towards the energy of summer. Um, so, like I said, manifesting something at the end of spring, going towards the light um, makes a lot of sense. I hope this um you hope you enjoyed this i hope this helped um please like subscribe and share and i see you all very soon remember there is a summer solstice reading on this channel please like subscribe and share and find that reading because obviously energetically speaking that is connected and i'm going through a lot of trouble to record all this for you to give you uh, advice and to give you some ideas about what to do and what you can expect during the time so um, obviously um, I'm doing this for you guys, so it would be nice if you actually used um, the advice that I record for you. Thank you so much. See you next time. Bye-bye.